All right, we've got our mandarin oranges inside our cast iron skillet. We are just caramelizing these in some brown sugar and butter. All right, it's been about two minutes, so we're just gonna flip these over to our other side. Just getting a nice caramel crust onto our beautiful mandarin oranges here. This brown sugar and butter smells so good. Always makes me think of like a cool winter's evening. Such a nice, you know, savory kind of treat, even though it's a sweet, got butter in there. I love it. I'm just gonna grab my bowl and bring this over here. All right, while those oranges are cooking, I'm gonna start with my spice cake mix. Got one box, I've got the Duncan Hines. You can use Betty Crocker if you like. I am going to use two eggs, some fresh cranberries. So pretty. And I'm gonna use one can of pure pumpkin. We're making a delicious spice cake today. I love pumpkin. You don't love pumpkin? Just make the cake mix according to the box instructions with your typical oil and water. But I think this is gonna go really, really well with those oranges. And we're gonna show you how we're gonna incorporate this all together. It's gonna be super delicious, super moist, perfect for you know a snack during the day, during the holidays or to have as part of your breakfast, a dessert. So much you can do with this. It's hearty and tasty. All right, let's bring this back over to our oranges. All right, I'm coming back in with my batter here for our beautiful spice cake. Like I said, this is gonna be such a good treat, breakfast, snack, this is perfect to keep on your counter, keep around during the holidays. You need something to tide you over while you're doing that cooking in the kitchen. So easy to make, just a few ingredients. And our favorite oranges, cranberries, those spices like ginger and nutmeg. These are just all our taste of the season here. And we're just making this in our cast iron skillet. All right, now that we've got this all smoothed out, here's the fun part. We're gonna cook this on our burner here, but we're gonna turn this down to the lowest heat setting. So if you're cooking it on a gas stove, you wanna turn it right before you turn it off and then let it get down to the very lowest that the flame can be. Now I'm gonna put my lid on here on my cast iron skillet, and we are gonna cook this on the lowest heat setting for 50 minutes right on our burner. All right, we have had this on our lowest heat setting for 55 minutes. I am going to turn my heat off here and I am going to transfer this entire thing onto a wire rack to cool. All right, y'all, we have let our entire skillet cool and now I've got a plate here and it's time to get this baby out. Woo! Skillet's a little heavy, so gonna take a little bit of muscle there. Okay, I can tell it came out here. I'm so excited to see our result. Look at this beautiful cake, that moist caramelized top on there. All done in our skillet. We've got those festive flavors of spices, our oranges, cranberries in here, our spice cake done with a pumpkin. So this is, oh no, I used eggs, so it's not vegan, but it's close. And I think this is gonna be a perfect breakfast food or perfect to grab off the counter when you're just looking for a snack in the middle of cooking. And I can't wait to cut into this and have a piece here. You know, I wanna say you can make a glaze on top. I opted not to, but I think something an orange glaze with like Grand Marnier, if you like that, on top could be really great. Or maybe even a chocolate. Chocolate and orange is pretty good together. 
Look at this moist, delicious cake, completely done in our skillet on the stove top. So if you're cooking in the oven, this is a, you can use a stove top for this. And it cooked in about 55 minutes, letting it cool. I can't wait to have a taste of this. Look at this beautiful caramelization on top there. Okay, this is gonna be so tasty. Cheers, everyone. This is incredible. I hope you try this. Happy holidays, everyone.